Howdy, everybody. It's your pal, Misty. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. And before we get started today, I have a very important announcement. If you're watching this on October 1st, it's my mama's birthday. Happy birthday, mama. You know that I love you. And for those of you who may not know, uh, your pal Misty would not only literally not be here without my mama, but I wouldn't be here on YouTube for y'all to follow. So hopefully she'll comment down below and y'all can show her some love in the comments. It's Miss PJ and she's just amazing. So I would have been remiss without taking the very first opportunity I have to say happy birthday, mama, and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> but for the rest of you, you're probably really here to get my apple cider vinegar update. I did a YouTube collab with Maha, with Journey with Maha. There were several of us that were going to be doing the collab. I'm not sure who all saw it through all the way to the end. I saw some people that couldn't start, some people that had to drop out halfway through. So I know Maha's done it. I know I've done it. <laughs> if I see any other people that have done it, I'll do my best to make sure I link their videos for you also in the comments down below. So how did the challenge go? Well, it went pretty well, I think. Uh, I started on the Monday, and when I had started the challenge and done the weigh-in, I was at 225.6. I had been slowly putting back on weight for the last few weeks for no real good reason that I knew of. So the last time I'd weighed in was September the 20th, and today is October the 1st. So over the last 10, 11 days, I've been doing the apple cider vinegar challenge. I've had a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar with a teaspoon of lemon in between 8 and 16 ounces of water uh, before I eat every 30 minutes. At first, it was tricky because I would have to drink and then wait to eat, and I already have a little bit of a later eating window, so sometimes my eating window got pushed back even further, but I got much better about that as the challenge continued, and when I weighed in this morning, are you ready? 221! So we were down 4.6 pounds. You want to say that's because of the apple cider vinegar? Then we're going to say that's what it was because that's the collab that I was doing over the last few days. If we're just going to say my body finally caught up and is finally starting to lose that weight again, then that's what we'll say. But however you want to look at it, I did drop 4.6 pounds in basically the last two weeks, which is really a great update. That's over a two pound average of weight loss, which for those of you who are tracking the numbers, that's, that's pretty darn good. And getting me even closer to that 220 to get under that next 10 pound marker. Overall, I really had a great month in October. Even though I did put on weight for the first part of it, I had just a rip-roaring good time. Uh, for those of you following along, obviously you know I've been doing the 5 minute and 4 minute challenge with Sharon with Fine Fitness with Sharon and Kirsten with Kirsten Quick Fit. We're done. We did our last day yesterday. I did every exercise that they put out on both of their channels. I even did their 7.30 a.m. live stream. And I did their videos later that day that they had put out for that same day. I did all the video. I impressed myself. I'm not going to lie. At first, I was like, ah, Sharon's doing points. I don't know. I, I mean, I don't do group competitions. But I was like, well, it's just my points for my own self. You know, if that helps other people show that the community's doing it. Okay, okay, I'll do it. It really worked out really well, Sharon. I got to say, <laughs> I enjoyed the points because... It did actually give me a little bit of motivation to, to do it on certain days when I was like, oh, I don't know, maybe I could just kind of skip it and come back to it in a week or two. But then I was like, oh, then I'll have to figure out the points. And it was a little bit of not wanting to miss any points, but it was also a little bit of not wanting to have to figure it out. But luckily, Sharon was really great and basically did all of that for me. So thank you, Sharon, for that. I appreciate it. Um, finished the Kirsten challenge, and it's a challenge. Hers are always very, very challenging for me, and she ended the last day on core, which is a lot of plank stuff. <laughs> but you know what? It was kind of a good way to end because I felt pretty strong. I mean, I still can't lift this 221 pounds up off the floor in a regular push-up or anything, but I was doing it for the most part, with modification, of course, but even for me, I was doing it. And I was thinking about it, I've really only been doing any type
type of fitness for the last five months. And when I think about all of the exercises that I did this month and all of the things that I learned from both of those ladies, one, first of all, thank you so much, ladies. I cannot thank you enough for everything that you've taught me. It's more valuable than, than I can explain. So thank you. But <laughs> I've learned so much. I've done so much. I was doing these moves that I didn't even know existed. <laughs> Or that I'd be able to do them, and yet here I was, maybe with modifications. But both of them will tell you it's all about the progress, right? You progress into it. We even did isometrics, which I had never heard of, and it was just a hold. And that was one of the hardest days. <laughs> my, my legs were on fire. Kirsten was just like, just stand in this squat position. Yeah, you do that, Kirsten. <laughs> I had to get up and shake it off a couple of times, but it's things like that that I've learned. Uh, Sharon did very specific exercises for different body parts that I can incorporate. Kirsten did a lot of full body that I can incorporate. Just, it's, I don't know, it's, it's, I'm having fun with the fitness. Sharon, I'm a fitness enthusiast. <laughs> Who knew? But yeah, so that was the September challenges. They were great. I had fun. I completed every last single one of them that I wanted to do. And the last thing that I wanted to talk about with you today is sort of my plans for October. And the biggest plan that I have in October is I'm not going to weigh in again for the month of October. I, I know this is going to sound maybe strange to some of you, and to some of you it'll make perfect sense, but... I only ever really wanted to lose the 100 pounds and get down below the 230. Anything past that in my mind has always been a bonus. And that's really when I started to be able to focus on the fitness. Was when I stopped focusing on the weight. The weight went up and the weight went down. We're almost back to where we started. I'm only like, what, 0.4 pounds off of my lowest weight right now? Dang, come on. We'll drop that in no time. But... The stress of checking the numbers is not what I need right now. The scale is not my friend. I know several of you can weigh every day and you use it as a data point and you say that it doesn't impact you because you can use it as data. I'm still not at a point right now that I can use it as data. I just see it as totally confusing and it causes me more stress than needs to be because I still feel good. I'm still doing these fitness things, right? And that's ultimately what I want. I don't care what I weigh. I never have cared what I weigh. That was sort of the problem. So I mean, I guess I care a little bit. But it's not about the number. It's about how I feel. So for the month of October, I'm not going to weigh in at all. I'll do a weigh-in at the end of the month and we'll reassess how I feel. I will do weigh-ins because I do want to make sure that I'm not just totally off track. At this point, I can't imagine that. My life's in a pretty good routine. I've been doing it now for a year and a half. I know what works. I know what doesn't work. And trying to figure it out based on the scale has just caused me so much frustration. And I have enough frustration in my life with other things. I don't want to be frustrated about a number on a scale. So I'm just putting it up for the month. I'll still do weekly updates. We'll have more of those non-scale victories for you. But for the month of October, the plan as far as weigh-ins is that you won't be getting a weight update. At least not every week like I used to do. It's not healthy for me right now, and what I'm shooting for is healthy. I really do appreciate all of y'all's support. I checked my channel the other day, and I'm over 450 subscribers, guys, which means we're almost at 500 subs. Y'all know I made goals for 2021. And there's a video on it, but it was before most of you were following me. And my goal at the time was to get down to 200 pounds. With only three months left and 20 pounds to go, I don't know that I'm going to meet that goal. But that's okay, because I never really intended to meet it. Just have something to shoot for. And dead gum, I came pretty close, even if I don't drop any more weight for the next three months. But I also set a goal of having 200 subscribers. And that one, y'all blew out of the water for me. And I really appreciate it. So, like this video if you like it, dislike it if you didn't, subscribe if you know how, because we're almost at 500 people who like to follow along, and I love to see y'all comment in each other's comments and all that, it's just such a good time. So anyway, comment down below, happy birthday, mama. <laughs> 
You don't have to comment that exactly, but if you see her and you want to comment, I'd love it. <laughs> Otherwise, just comment anything down below because I know that's how a lot of y'all find each other, and I think that's really cool. Until next time, I'll see you real soon. All right. Oh, no, your eye. Oh, no, my eye. Guys, it's been raining for like three days, and... My eye really is feeling it uh, this morning. Hopefully it doesn't look too bad. You may not even notice if I hadn't said. It's key lime. Key lime bang this morning. We're just adding a little vloggy at the end because it's early in the morning because I wanted to do my weigh in because it felt like I'd lost some weight. And um, you'll find out before this. Unless you skip to the end. Does anybody skip to the end just to watch this part? That's okay. Hi. Oh no, I was so asleep I missed myself opening it, and that's the best part. Oh jeez. Here comes your update. That's, that's fine. Whoa, you just talked a lot about fitness. Did you even say anything? I don't know. Oh no, I got so excited about talking about those. Uh-oh. Well, it's okay. You have time. You can review it. And if you need to fix it, you can. Oh jeez. A bang everybody good morning good morning to you all right <clears throat> nobody panic it's fine you did it I think we did it I think we're good everybody <laughs>